working on the deal, not the Vietnamese. On the other hand, if we're not going to pay for them, let's quit wasting our time with the Vietnamese. Now, the failed policies of our administrations and the past administrations, that should be abandoned. Not our American ideals, nor the men who per... I'm sorry. Orson Swindle with Ross Perot has put forward a great proposal. It's a great proposal. It says, either right now make the effort to negotiate with them or pull out of Vietnam entirely. No, no trade, mm -hmm. no normalization, no IMF loans. Just forget Vietnam and make this basically a non-issue. That's the bottom line. We're talking, we're talking about human beings. Right, and we have to squeeze the Vietnamese as tight as we possibly can so that they're finally mm -hmm. going to release these men because everything they've tried so far hasn't worked. I, I believe we should get them home. And, and yes, I know, it's the 15th annual, but uh, we've only just made our acquaintance here, so it's uh, our first, your 15th. What's your impression? Pretty good sort of comfortable zone I have compared to the Rat race bus, of, Los of Los Angeles. Angeles so. Yeah, you just start, I, I was excited to be driving this afternoon and see the mountains open up yeah. and the shadows it's so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. We love it out here. Plus to support the arts as well, independent film, you know, really like to follow it, so. Yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's nice to have a forum for films that won't be seen by most people, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because of the way the studios are, you can only put $25 million behind uh, so many films, you know? Yeah. So it's nice to be able to see uh, refreshing uh, cinema. You've got, you've got plans to see a lot of them while you're here? Or? Unfortunately, we, we got here so late today. Yeah. We've got the gala and then we've got uh, another thing tomorrow. We've been but really busy, but we'll definitely check out some stuff before we go. So Yeah. 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 We'll have to plot it out very carefully tomorrow, yeah. looking at the schedule. Yeah. 1 8, 110, 1 10, 1 12. Thanks. Okay. okay. Thank you. Oh man. There's so many genres. There's so many. Uh, there's one that we're interested in seeing. There's uh, Who Killed Bambi, which was interesting. Mm -hmm. And I think Valentin. Yeah. Valentin uh, was another one. Yeah, you know these uh, obscure little films. You go, wow, yeah. sounds like an interesting, well-shot movie that yeah. most people probably won't get to see. Challenging storylines, not the banal, usual Hollywood. Wait, that's the question. You and you. Uh, any future projects, people? Um, I just finished the film with uh, Ving Rhames and Ja Rule called Back in the Day, and I had cornrows. I was a, a oh ghetto, she fabulous a gangster, street gangster with an Uzi, and uh, she was looking good. Yeah, it was awesome. Just down in uh, Puerto Rico, just got back. So uh, maybe next year that'll be here. <laughs> How was it shooting down there? I was great, except I got hit by uh, a stray here. Oh no! Yeah, isn't yeah. that crazy? I got yeah. hit. Line ah. of fire on the set with Ja Rule. Was the cam with the camera rule? Really? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She gets blown away by the cops. Yeah. So I'm gonna cut that shot. In the uh, yeah. In the first take, it was like you know, and then you're like oh, and you get hit and you fall down. The second one, I'm like ah, <laughs> and they said, Are you okay? Are you okay? We could tell by the way you screamed. I was like. I pulled yeah. it back and it was just blown up and this was huge like this all, uh, and we finally got back like yeah like it was week. huge squib hit you know you gotta yeah. take it you gotta take it uh, for your art right. I'm a gangster how'd you folks get involved with the uh, film festival here um well I met Mary Bono we met Mary Bono yeah. at um yeah. you know Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, uh, inauguration and Carol Prop, who also works with Arnold, they all invited us out here, which yeah. is great. Yeah, which is really yeah. good. So, it's our, as you know, it's our first time. So, first time for the film festival, yeah. but we yeah. love Palm Springs anyway. Yeah, we're out here a lot. But we don't tell everybody when we're out here, <laughs> like the rest of Hollywood. Shh. All right. Um, so, okay. Anything else? That's it. Let's all go right. see what cool. Tiffany has in the box. Yeah, yeah. Have a great dinner. Uh, yeah, there have must a good be night. A big good piece of yeah. jewelry. Actually, I, I haven't a clue. I haven't even thought about it. Who is this man over here? Is he the Mater D tomorrow night? Yeah. He, he's the troublemaker oh, around he's here. He's claiming you're the Mater D. Remember me? Girl, the Pearl. You're not keeping that. You're not keeping that. <laughs> this is mine. Oh, really? Pearl, this is mine. Oh, my goodness. I'm yes. Proud. You know what? Tiffany's came over to the house today with gorgeous things. Yes. But um, this was my special 20th anniversary gift from Paramount. Oh, so I had to wear that tonight. Uh, uh, yeah, it's from the other. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm supposed to ask you, who put you on Starting TV? Starting with Harry. Yeah. Wait a minute, he wants an urban I legend. Who put you on TV? Network TV. My life is owed to Earl Greenberg. <laughs> I you. would be Thank nowhere in life. Urban Without legend finally dispelled. Earl Thank Greenberg. You. How do you spell e the last name? A-R-L-U-R-G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> This is the star of the yes, festival. Yes, I know. Well, you're obviously in capable hands now. We'll let you go and enjoy the, <laughs> this, uh, the event. <laughs> the man with, with little hair and reflection off his head. This. Actually, this several. Kind of, you know, this is interview. my very first this is, interview. Wait, this is my first interview. Oh, it is. Can you remember your first interview that you, and when and where? And my well, the we first to, to major to star I ever talked to was Gregory Peck, that right? and that was back in the 70s, and he was great. I said to her, I don't know if I'm going to survive this. And she said to me, you know, you're a survivor, and you're going to survive this too. And sure enough, I did. I survived to see Mary of my daughter, and now my granddaughter is getting married. And I'm so thankful for being alive. But I always felt, why me, not the other? So I really don't know in what to believe. I did believe in God all the time. But then I felt God let me down. But nevertheless, I still pray to God and I thank God for everything I have. Thank you for listening to my story. Thank you for having the courage to share your story. It's, um, I'm almost speechless. <laughs> Very brave of you to be willing to tell us that. Do you want to take a break, or can we go back to a certain part in your story and have you elaborate a little more on a few items? Are you up for it? Well, you have any questions? Is the last time you saw your mother, you said okay. you were that you were fourteen. No, when I the last time when the war broke out, I was fourteen. When I s was separated from my entire family, I was sixteen. Okay. Okay. When I went into the camps, I was sixteen, okay. because I lived in a ghetto with my parents mm -hmm. probably for a year and a half. Yeah. But actually I was 14 when the war broke out. Yeah. When did you get news of your sister and your mother and father? Well, what happened to them? Well, I, we did not know that Treblinka exists. We did not know about the extermination. We didn't know. At that time, I was hoping that I will be reunited with my parents. Mm -hmm. 